So, now look at this. 6,234th prime number is 62011, and chapter 62 has 11 verses. Okay. All right. Now let's look at this one. The 114th prime is 619. We know that already. But the 619th prime is 4567. It's a very easy number. There are four consecutive digits. Okay. Now let's look at the permutation group property of this. 4567, 4576, and you again you generate it and you come up with the 19th one, which is 7456. Now let's look at this. So uh, the 114th prime is 619, and the 619th prime is 456. The, the Quran has 114 chapters. 19th group element is 7456, and chapter 74 in the Quran has actually 56 verses. Note that chapter 74 is the only chapter where the number 19 is mentioned. Okay? The index of composite 7456 is actually 6512, and chapter 65 has 12 verses. Number 19 is mentioned in verse 30 of chapter 74, as we showed in that previous slide. And 30 happens to be the 19th composite. So this directly connects the number 19 to the number of chapters in the Quran. Okay. Now let's look at this. Remember now? Okay, that big number that was generated in 1961. Okay. Now, everything that I'm going to tell you here would have been completely meaningless in 1960, okay? because this number was not discovered yet. Okay? Discovery of this number happened in 1961. So you cannot explain this was when, when Kennedy was running for president in the United States. Okay? It would be completely meaningless. During World War II, this would be completely meaningless. Okay. Now let's see what happens. The 19th exponent of the 19th group element, I mean, uh, uh, Mersin prime is 4253. And now we'll go and see what happens. The 19th Mersin prime is 4253. It's a exponent. Chapter 42 has 53 verses. Note that chapter 42 is the only chapter in the Quran that has two sets of initials. So as though God was giving you a hint that you see the reason there is something important about this chapter. It has two sets of initials, not just one. Okay? So, and we see the importance of it. Okay? Uh, so you cannot, you, you could not describe this in uh, 1930 or even 1960. Okay? So. Alright. Now we do the same thing. We write the permutation group property of 4253. And then we'll see this table here. And the 19th one is 5234. OK, so let's, let's see the ones that I highlighted. And let's see what the properties are. OK. All right. Uh, <coughs> all right. The permutation group properties of 4253, which is, tells you chapter 42 has 53 verses, the, ninth, the exponent of the 19th mercy. The group element 19 is actually 5234, and its index is 4537. Okay, so composite, four, five, composite 5234 has an index of 4537. Chapter 45 in the Quran has three verses, uh, 37 verses. The group element 22 is 5342, and its index is 4635, and Chapter 46 in the Quran has 35 verses. So you see how those HM initial chapters, we already, with this mechanism, we already generated three of the seven, okay, the number of verses in those chapters, namely chapter 42, 45, and 46. Now let's go on. The 
The group element number 9 is 3425, and it is the index of composite 3975. Chapter 39 has 75 verses. Note that 39 is the 19th uninitial surah in the Quran. The group element number 10 is 3452, and its index is 2969, and chapter 29 in the Quran has 69 verses. Now, now we go, it, it gets a little bit more complicated. Now we go to this 20 PCs and see how they generate these parameters of the car. Okay? So, now remember now, there are not too many of these 20 PCs. So, as soon as you go to higher indices here, they get extremely big. Okay? Because the gap is so, so big. Uh, so, okay. So, 20 PCs. Let's look at line 6. Line 6 corresponds. Index of number thir uh, prime number 13 is 6. Okay. It corresponds to 1482 and 1488. Guess what? The frequency of initial A plus L plus N plus R in chapter 13 is actually 1482. Look, it's right here. Comes right there. Okay? All right. Now let me let me also let me also put this into 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 my talk, okay? That there are different spellings of the Quran. Okay? There is only one spelling which is correct according to this, and that's the so-called Hafs Quran. Okay? The Hafs version of the Quran is the only correct one that yields this kind of things because you can spell it differently. And it's all okay, they're all valid. They're all valid spelling. But this mathematic tells you which one is correct. There are a lot of debates which one is correct. But this one puts an end to that. It says, aha, uh -huh, this one is the one. This is supposed to be the way it's spelled. Okay? Which is 78 times 19. And note that 78 is 6 times 13. You see that? 6 times 13 will give you actually the coefficient of 19 for this one. However, 78 is also the 19th triprime. Okay, when we talked about the three dimensional view of some coded message, not the two dimensional one. So the 78 is also the 19th front. Okay, uh, let's look at line 9. Line 9 that corresponds to 3252 and 3258, and 85th and 86th is the index of these TPCs. So these are the 20 TPCs. So the digital sum of TPCs indices, 85 and 89, and the twin TPCs, 3252 and 3258, corresponds to 27 and 30. Now look, 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 5 plus 8 is 27. 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 8 is 30, so you are 27, 30. Look at this. Note that Surah 9 does not have the opening statement. 9, and it is compensated at 27, 30. Chapter 27, verse 30. Remember I said that chapter 27 has two sets, two opening statements? In the name of God, the All-Gracious, the All-Merciful? Chapter 27, verse 30, it tells you exactly what it is, what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be in 27, 30. It can't be any other place. Okay? And that refers to this letter that Queen of Sheba receives from Solomon, and it is in the name of God, the All-Gracious, the All-Merciful. Okay? So, the indices of composite the index of composite 3252 is 2793, and chapter 27 has 93 verses. Okay. It happens that 27, chapter 27, is the ninth initial surah that was revealed. All right, Gaussian primes, remember we talked about Gaussian primes. Let's see how this one generates nine having 127 verses. Now, look at this line here, okay? Well, first of all, let me not just look at, look at this, this one. Okay. <clears throat> the tenth prime number is 19, and it's 67. 